Hey everyone, I know that we are all missing our favorite Disney destinations right now, myself included. So I know also a lot of us don't have a countdown for Disney right now or our countdowns are a little bit unsure, but I know somebody who does have a Disney countdown and I would love to read you her story. So today we are going to read How Many Sleeps Till Disney by Michelle Atwood, who is me. So let's get started. All right. Okay. It was a very cold day in the north. Gracie was sitting in her favorite chair, looking out the window daydreaming. What was she dreaming about as she watched the snow falling from the sky? She was thinking of a place that's sunny and warm, a place that's magical and brings happiness to kids of all ages, a place that she's always wanted to visit, Walt Disney World. Gracie's big brothers had been to Disney parks many times. She had heard stories of fireworks, princesses, parades, and so much more. The boys told Gracie and her sister of all the fun that they had always had while visiting the parks. She wanted to go too, but for now, all she could do is dream as she looked out at the snow, sparkling in the sun. It almost looked like pixie dust. One day while Gracie was sitting by her window, but before bedtime, watching the cold winds blow, she heard a noise. Her mommy and daddy came into the room and they had a surprise for her. What could it be? Gracie's mommy handed her a book. It was brightly colored with a beautiful castle on the front. What's this, mommy? Gracie asked. Her mommy smiled and said, it's a special countdown just for you, sweet pea. It's a countdown of how many sleeps are left before we leave for Walt Disney World. There's Gracie. Disney World, Gracie said, with sparkles in her eyes. Yes, her daddy said, we are going to Disney World in one week. Just seven more sleeps. Gracie was so excited, she wondered how she would even be able to sleep after hearing the news that she had been waiting so long for. Can we go now, she asked. Not yet, but every night before bed, we will think of something magical that we want to do on our vacation and count down how many sleeps are left until we leave, her mother said. Gracie was happy with that answer as she couldn't wait to see her favorite characters and see for herself all the wonderful things that her brothers told her about. See, she's already dreaming about Walt Disney World. Since there was a castle on the front of her countdown book, that's what her thought was going to be about that night. Gracie had visions of standing in front of the castle at Disney, pretending to be a real princess. That's a great way to start. And with that, she closed her book and she got ready for bed. Okay, mommy, seven more sleeps till Disney. And there she is dreaming about the castle. The next evening, Gracie was actually looking forward to bedtime. Usually she wasn't ready to go to bed early, but with Disney getting closer and closer, she couldn't wait. What magical vision will she have tonight? Tonight, I want to think about fireworks, Gracie said to herself. She had seen pictures of the beautiful fireworks shows that Disney does every night, and she couldn't wait to see them with her own eyes. Her big brothers had told her about how the sky lights up with pixie dust and magic, and how beautiful it truly is. She wondered, will she see Tinkerbell? Will her favorite songs play during the show? She couldn't wait to find out. With that happy thought, she closed her book, only six more sleeps to Disney. The next day at school, Gracie was telling her friends about her upcoming magical vacation. Some of the children in her class had already been to Disney and were telling her stories of what they saw and did there. This only made her more excited. That evening at bedtime, she was trying to remember the things that her classmates told her about her vacations, their vacations. Gracie's sister came into her room and she started to tell her about how when they go to Disney, they can be made up to look like whatever princess they choose with princess dresses, pixie dust in their hair, all of it. What princess do you want to be, Gracie? Her sister asked. Without stopping to think, Gracie answered, Rapunzel, I want to be Rapunzel. 
What princess do you want to be? Gracie asked her sister. Aurora, she said, sleeping beauty. That's who I would love to be. After answering, Gracie's sister skipped out of the room and headed to bed. Gracie smiled with excitement because her trip was getting closer. Only five more sleeps till Disney. Gracie's mommy told her to start thinking about what she wanted to pack in her suitcase for their trip. She knew that she couldn't pack all her princess dresses, but love the thought. Mommy, will there be a place to swim at Disney, she asked. Oh yes, her mommy said. Disney parks have wonderful swimming pools and water parks for you to play in. Gracie was so excited to hear that. At that moment, she knew what she'd be thinking about at bedtime, swimming. She also was sure to pack her bathing suit so she'd be all set once she got there. Hooray for swimming. Only four more sleeps till Disney. The next evening, Gracie sat on her bed in her pajamas, filled with excitement. What should I think about for tonight's countdown? She thought, treats. Treats are good. She, she knows that Disney parks have treats. Such goodies like Mickey ice cream bars, delicious cupcakes that looked like her favorite characters, cookies, pretzels, and popcorn. She was getting hungry just thinking about all the snacks that she'd love to try. Gracie knew that tonight she'd have sweet dreams for sure. Only three more sleeps till Disney. And there's all those yummy snacks. There were only two days left till the big day. Gracie couldn't believe how fast the week had gone by. Disney has so many fantastic things to offer. She wondered how she would come up with only two more things for her countdown. Would she be thinking about parades? Disney's Magic Kingdom has a magnificent parade in the afternoon. What about rides? Oh yes, roller coasters, rides and more, she thought. Gracie wondered if she'd be tall enough to go on the roller coasters at Disney, but she also wondered if she would be brave enough to do them all. I'm brave enough even to go on the Haunted Mansion, Gracie said. She wanted to be a big girl and do all of the things. Only two more sleeps till Disney. And there's her thinking about the Haunted Mansion, which is one of my favorites. Today was the last day of Gracie's special Disney countdown. Tomorrow, she and her parents, along with her big brothers and sister, would be leaving for their magical vacation. How will I think of just one more thing that I'm looking forward to, she wondered. There was just so much. Gracie's mind raced. She had visions of meeting her favorite Disney characters. She thought about the dance parties and the shows at Disney. She wanted to see them all. Which happy thought would she choose? See, you can see there's all kinds of things to think about, things that she could choose. What will it be? Gracie was tucked into her bed on this last night of her special countdown. She clutched her book in her little hands and wondered if she'd be too excited to sleep. Her mommy and daddy walked into the room and sat on the bed beside her. What's it going to be tonight? Her daddy asked. Yes, what's the last magical wish or thought you have before going to sleep? Asked her mommy. Gracie smiled at them and said, well, I'm excited to do so many things on our trip. I'm thrilled about the princesses, shows, treats, rides, and more. But there's only one more sleep till Disney. And what I'm most excited about is spending this time with my family. Gracie not only wanted to visit her sure to be new happy place, but she wanted to do it with her favorite people, mommy, daddy, her brothers, and sister. Disney is magic, but it's even better when you can enjoy, enjoy it with the people you love. And they all agreed. There's her family. The next morning, it was time to go. Gracie and her family had their suitcases packed. She had her favorite Mickey Mouse stuffed animal under her arm. She was ready to finally go to Disney with her family. She decided to take her countdown book with her. Gracie planned to write down all her magical memories in the back of the book so she would never forget her trip. There are no more sleeps till Disney, she said. She knew that this would be the best day ever because it was finally time to go. When Gracie and her family got to Disney, it was everything she dreamed of and more actually. 
She saw the castle for herself and her heart was happy. It was worth waiting all those sleeps for sure. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of Disney magic. And uh, as always, sending you lots of love, blessings, and pixie dust. See you real soon.